Hi guys, today I'm going to do a Will I Buy It video. Now, I normally do these in collaboration with Liz from Chicago Law Luxury Makeup and we do lives. We try and do them every month and include some of our favorites and we take turns at which channel it's on. But Liz has been quite busy, tied up with some other things lately. So I thought I would still do a Will I Buy It video. But Liz and I are going to be doing a live this week and we're just gonna do it on our favorites for July. And we're also going to apply a full face of makeup during the live as well. There were lots of beautiful products during July, so it's going to be difficult to decide which eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use. So for today, I'm going to refer to two or three Instagram pages. One is Chic Profile from Tavia, who has an absolutely fabulous Instagram page. The other one is Angel Naked. And there's also another one that, that I cannot pronounce, and I may even refer to a third one as well. But I will put the names either underneath here or to the side. So I'm going to move over here a little bit, and I'll have pictures of what I'm talking about up to my left. So I'm first going to have a look at the Chic Profile Instagram page. That's the one from Tavia. And first of all, I'm looking at the Givenchy Fall 2022. Now, some of this has already been released, the highlighter, and I also think a couple of the lip balms as well. Now, I would love to get my hands on this, and I would buy it if I could, but it's difficult to get here in New Zealand. Often we don't get a lot of the latest Givenchy releases. If we do, it comes a lot later. I'm hoping maybe that Harrods might stock it soon. And if they do, I will definitely be picking up the highlighter. Now, when it comes to the eyeshadow palettes, I'm not too sure. There were mixed reviews about them last year, about the one that came out. So I'm not sure whether I would pick that up. But I'd definitely like to try the highlighter. And I wouldn't mind trying either one or two of the lip balms as well. But if I could get it here in New Zealand, I definitely would. But at this stage, I'll just have to see if I can source it from somewhere else. Hopefully, Harrods will get it. And next is the long-awaited tweeds. And apparently now they are going to be launched. From the information that I've received here in New Zealand from my essay at Chanel, they are going to be released on the 1st of September. Now, apparently they're also going to be released at Nordstrom as well as an exclusive to them. So I think they're going to be available from Chanel Boutiques worldwide. Hopefully it's going to be worldwide and also from Nordstrom as well. Now, in this photo that I've got up here to my left, there are three of the quads. It looks like there is Popre and Fauve and it looks like Bron et Rose is there as well. But there is also another quad, there is four in this collection, and the one that's missing from this picture is Couvray. And I think that these look absolutely beautiful. And Laura Mercier is coming out with a collection for fall 2022, and this launches on the 7th of September in Japan. Now, like quite a few brands, Laura Mercier is really difficult for me to source here in New Zealand. We do get it, but it's often months after it's been launched. The eyeshadow palette here looks really, really pretty. They're soft colors, neutrals, and with a little bit of pink in there as well, and I think it looks really, really beautiful. So the eyeshadow palette is called the Wildflower Eyeshadow Palette. It's a limited edition. And it has 12 colors and it says that there are seven matte finishes and four satin eyeshadows. I think this looks really, really lovely. And next is the Tom Ford Eye and Cheek Soleil palette. This is called 01 and it's called Plage Privy. Now, this hasn't been released in the US or I don't think in Europe. But this was available in New Zealand and I've picked it up. 
I've put pictures of this on my Instagram page and the picture that's up here is a picture of mine and I've also done swatches of this and put that up on Instagram and I also did a short for YouTube as well. So I have that palette right here so I'm going to give you a peek of it and I hope to do a video of this soon. So this is the outside packaging and plush I hope that's how you pronounce it, Plage Privé. I think it means something like private beach or hidden beach or something like that. And it comes in this white pouch. So it just opens up. It looks like there's a clip, but it's a magnetic closure. And here is the palette. It is really, really lovely. This gives quite a golden sun kiss look it's really lovely i really love the color of this blush as i was saying i have tried this once and i think it looks really really lovely but i do want to do a video on it in the near future i'm just hoping that this is going to be released fairly soon in Europe and elsewhere. I do think it is really, really lovely. But as I was saying, I do have swatches of this on my Instagram page. And then we have some more from Chanel. This is Chanel 4 2022. And this is all quite neutral looking and I think it looks really, really beautiful. If I can, I'll definitely be picking up the quad and probably two or three of the nail polishes as well. But what I'm really excited about with this collection is that there appears to be quite a few new type of lipsticks and they are definitely my everyday type of lipsticks and I think they look really lovely. I think there's a mixture of ones that are going to be permanent and ones that are going to be limited edition and the nail polishes look lovely too. They're all quite soft and neutral colors but I think they are lovely and I'm just having another look at the nail polishes here. I'm probably going to pick up more than that and from the looks of it all of the nail polishes are going to be limited edition. And then there is this Dior collection and unfortunately it's going to be exclusive to Japan and it has a quint and the embossing on the quint is just stunning. If I could get my hands on this I would definitely have it. I think it looks beautiful. Again, the color story isn't anything amazing, but it's very neutral. One that I would wear, but just for the embossing itself, I think it's really beautiful. There's also, it looks like a lipstick and a nail polish, but unfortunately it is exclusive to Japan, so I don't think I'll be able to pick that one up. And then Yves Saint Laurent are bringing out another clutch, an eyeshadow clutch. And I actually have never tried one of these. I think this looks lovely. Again, it's a neutral type of color story. This is one that I would definitely reach for, this color story. And if I'm able to pick this up, I might have to source this from overseas. But if I'm able to do that, I will pick it up because these are shades that I would reach for each day. I think this looks really lovely. And from reviews that I've seen on previous YSL clutches, the eyeshadows are really beautiful. So definitely pick this up if I can. And then we have Dior Fall 2022. This is apparently already available in Japan. And you've got two eyeshadow quints, you've got a blush, and I think this is also a nail nourishing cream. Yes, that's what it is. That cares for the fingertips. It's included in a limited burgundy shell, and the packaging is really lovely on that. Again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get my hands on this. Sometimes I can with Dior collections that come out, and sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can source them online now at Dior Australia, and other times I've just got to hope that they come to Selfridges. And I'm just taking a look at the lipsticks now. The lipsticks do look lovely, probably not ones that I would buy. And I actually haven't tried a Dior nail polish before, so I, if I can, I may pick up one or two of those to give them a go. I really love the Chanel nail polishes, but I would like to try the Dior ones to see how they are. Now the quints look beautiful. One of them has that green in it, and I think that is gorgeous. I love wearing green eyeshadow. 
it's not too out there for me. It's an eyeshadow that I would wear for my everyday type of makeup. So I think both look really, really beautiful. And then we have a Chantecaille collection coming and this looks stunning. I love the look of this. Both look really beautiful. Both are color stories that I would wear. I like the look of the lipsticks as well. But again, I'm in that situation where New Zealand does not get the new releases for Chantecaille. So if I'm able to source this from overseas, I will and do videos on it. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till this comes to New Zealand. And like some other brands, we have to wait months for Chantecaille to be released here. So hopefully, I'll be able to source this from overseas. And if I can, I'll definitely do videos on them. I think they look really, really beautiful. And then it looks like that Charlotte Tilbury is bringing out another one of her face and cheek palettes. I've bought two of these before and I really like them. And I love the color story of this one. I think this looks really, really beautiful. So you've got some pinks in there and possibly one that goes a bit more towards rosy type of shade but I think they look lovely and there's a lot of people that don't like face palettes I really like them if I go away for a night or two I don't so much at the moment but when I used to they're the type of palettes that I pack in my travel bag they're just really convenient and they don't take up too much room and this is just perfect for that so if i'm able to get my hands on that i will be picking that up i think it looks really really pretty and then finally it looks like tom ford is coming out with two new quads as well and by the looks of it it's going to be that new cream formula which is absolutely beautiful one of the quads has a really gorgeous green in it and i think this quad looks stunning as i was saying I love wearing green eyeshadow. This is my type of color story and I think these look gorgeous. And the other one has more of violet in it. Really pretty and possibly some plum in there as well. I think both are absolutely beautiful and hopefully they are going to be that cream formula because that is just stunning. It blends like a dream and I love the previous quads that I purchased in that formula. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So again, if I'm able to get my hands on these, I'm definitely going to be picking them up. So there are lots of beautiful products that are coming out. Hopefully I can source some of them and some like that Tom Ford cheek and eye palette. New Zealand gets them first and I think the reason for that is sometimes we're included in that Asian Pacific drop when certain brands drop their products there. Another example of that is the recent the Bobbi Brown the Love Flush collection that had those two the trio ombre eyeshadows and I've done videos on those and they are absolutely gorgeous and New Zealand received them at the same time as Japan. So sometimes we do get things earlier but the majority of the time we do have to wait unfortunately. So I'm looking forward to all these beautiful collections that are coming out. I'm going to have to be quite selective. A lot are really really beautiful and it, as I said it depends whether I can source some or not. And even though that there are fall collections and it's going to be at fall, it's going to be the end of winter here and going into spring, I'm still looking forward to trying them out. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.